Hey, I'm Mitch Polonsky, and I'm the high side current sensor and DC power monitor marketer here at Microchip Technology in our analog division. And what I'm going to introduce you to today is the PAC 1934 USB-C power meter. Uh, this thing's very easy to use, right out of the box, and um, it's got a nice construction to it. You can see it's got a nice industrial look and feel to it. And what we're going to do to show you functionality initially is I'm going to use a power bank. So I'm going to hook up the power bank that I have here. And I've also got a USB-C wall wart. We're going to do everything USB-C here. Uh, and we're going to charge the power bank. This uh, wall wart, by the way, is rated at 45 watts for power delivery. And so what you'll see is the screen turns on. I'm going to rotate the screen for better viewing. And I'm going to make larger font. All of the information is available on one screen in small font, but I can raster through the information here. So we see voltage and current. We also see the direction of charge. So the wall ward is charging the power bank. We can see power, energy. We can also see accumulated charge. And then uh, something you can't see on a lot of other USB power meters is you see the CC voltage on the pins on this one. So that's nice. And then uh, one other thing that this device has that other devices don't is it has memory slots for prototyping. So this power or this power monitor is a good tool for prototyping your systems. So I'll go and I can change the screen to save data. And it shows you that I have memory locations, up to 10 memory locations for uh, data for prototyping. All right, so what else can this thing do? Let's go take a look at my cell phone, right? Something more common that everybody knows and wants to understand how much charge is going in and out of their cell phone. So what I have here is my cell phone. Um, I'm going to start with the power bank. And you can see that the power bank is now charging my cell phone about 1.9 amps. But I'm curious, can I get a better charge off of my wall ward? And we'll see, indeed, I get a better charge off of my wall ward, which is what I would hope I could get off of a, a wall outlet. All right, so what else do we have? Uh, first of all, I should mention what industries this device is good for. So this USB power meter, USB Type-C power meter, is good for computing. We've got flash memory. We've got monitors. We've also got video and audio accessories. All of these things are things that you could find a USB Type-C port off of, as well as um, our uh, other laptop accessories. Okay, so let's have some fun here. I've got some toys on my desk here. Not only did I have my cell phone, but I've also got a USB fan. I've got a flash memory drive, and I've got uh, a camera. So let's go over to my cell phone, hot day, and I want a, a fan. So I'm curious, if I use this fan, is it going to drain my battery and to what extent? So you start up the fan, change, rotate my screen. And what I find is that this fan is consuming about 300 milliamps, 330 milliamps. So for a while, there's no real harm in draining my my cell phone. But uh, what about uh, other accessories? You would expect this one to be a little bit high. 
I also have a USB flash memory drive. This one we would expect to be very low, right? So here, I'm going to rotate the screen. And indeed, the flash memory drive is very low power, but it is draining from my cell phone. So what I see here is 130 milliamps. Um, one other item that's important because we're talking about low power consumption is the fact that it can measure down to three decimal places. That's different than other USB off the shelf power meters. And the reason we can do that is that this USB power meter with the PAC 1934 in it has 16 bits of resolution for the ADC. So high precision ADC in this USB power meter. Other off the shelf would only do about two decimal places, two significant bits. All right, so next I have a, a camera and also a, a laptop where we can see probably a higher voltage of charge and we're curious to see about higher voltage applications. Okay, let's use the camera first. Changing my video source to the camera. And now, how much power are we consuming? Rotate the screen. Uh, very low, actually. So we looked at the flash memory drive. This uses about the same, just a little bit more power with 150 milliamps. So pretty efficient USB camera here. But what about higher voltage applications? Let's take a look at charging my laptop itself. So this one's more interesting, right? Because it's a higher voltage application. We're now charging my laptop and we see 20 volts um, capable on this USB power meter. And the fact that it is charging at uh, 1.4 amps, um, which is a nice charge and a, and a much higher voltage than any of the other applications that I brought, which were mostly five volt applications. So that's the PAC 1934 USB-C power meter. Uh, it's also known and can be found on Microchip Direct under ADM00921. Uh, what else is nice is you have a little black diagram here on the back that shows you that it was built out of a PIC24 and the design files are online so that you could build one of your own if that's what you wanted. Thanks for watching.